Yes, let's get into the just a quick description of the fine art scarves. I want you to know I have been working very differently. Um, thanks to Carol in Maine of Fox Run Studios, she asked me and, and pushed a little one time, have you tried the soy wax yet? Have you used the wax? No, I haven't. I don't want the mess. I don't know anything about it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with ironing it out. I'm not boiling things to get wax out. I'm not dealing with it. And then she, no, 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 no. If you use soy wax, it'll wash out. No. Oh, well, I don't, I'm not, I don't know any, okay, I'm going to research. So I started researching and she was so sweet when I asked her via Instagram messenger, I have some questions. I think I want to try soy wax. And she said, do you have time to chat? And we video chatted. <sighs> it's the internet, you guys, it's so crazy. So this is made with a wax resist. Uh, and I have found that since I started working with the wax, I've had so much more freedom with what I'm making. So the, everything kind of relaxed in the design. I'm still always using, this is the scarf that I wore for the Wish TV segment that I got to do. And this is wax resist combined with the resist ad. And you can see the effect of getting brush strokes in the work, which I've not been able to capture before. And then the dark outline around the shapes that you see, that's actual resist ad, that's gutta. Um, and I also started working occasionally in this larger 14 by 72 inch. A lot of my scarves, actually all of my scarves last year were 11 by 60. These are 14 by 72 and I started doing that just because I myself, when I was wearing it, I wanted a little bit more length. Um, and I'm afraid to put it on. I'm afraid I'm gonna brush against this microphone and hurt your ears, but let me try to avoid the microphone. I just want you to see Sorry if that's bothering the microphone. I want you to see how long it is because it's a, it's a great value. You're getting more silk. I'm painting more silk surface for you um, and trying to keep that fine art scarf price sort of in line with, a, a, it is a wearable piece of art, y'all. Um, they take quite a while to do and they're completely one of a kind. If you fall in love with something and it, and it already was purchased when you get to the website, if you really love it and you message me, I will consider making another one. But typically with the fine art scarves, it's once and done. It's like a piece of art. I'm not going to do it again and I'm not typically going to reproduce it. I will sort of one at a time for individual people, but it's not going to show up on my website again. Um, so there's an entire collection of those and then jumping off from the oblong shape, there's also I'm working more with squares. There are a couple of squares that are available. And this also was done with wax. And hope I'm hoping that you all can tell the difference between something like this as a 34 inch square um, versus those bossa nova bandanas I showed you. The work is completely different. These are much more involved so, you know, they're beautiful. I, I love working with silk.